What's going on guys? Quick video today. I actually just wanted to show you how to view Twitch streams without using your web browser. So just a little bit of backstory, when watching streams in Chrome with hardware acceleration disabled, I noticed I was getting a lot of skipped frames and I was doing some research and I guess it kind of, I found out that if your CPU is not able to decode the stream fast enough, um, sometimes it will skip some frames and that can result in sometimes a stream not being as smooth as it should be or as it could be. So I was kind of looking for a fix for that. Um, obviously one of the options would be to enable hardware acceleration, but because I stream using OBS, um, that's actually not compatible when you are using window capture. So that's the only reason really I've kept it uh, disabled. But uh, there is actually an alternative solution to viewing Twitch streams, and that's actually to view it in a media player of your choice. So um, there's actually this tool by the name of Streamlink, which will allow you to view uh, Twitch streams as well as some other websites as well, but I'm just mainly talking about Twitch right now. It'll allow you to view Twitch streams in a media player like a VLC. So I actually wanted to uh, try it out and see how it works. So um, they actually have this available for uh, Windows as well as uh, Linux users. If you're using Windows, there's actually an executable file that you can uh, download here that makes everything super easy. You really don't have to do anything other than install this. Uh, by the way, I'll put link a link to this tool down in the uh, comments below. But basically, I've went ahead and installed this command line tool. From there, you just open up the um, you open up a command line or a command prompt in Windows, and all you have to do here is type stream link, the name of the Twitch. Uh, URL minus the uh, protocol so no HTTP or anything like that and then the quality of the stream that you want to view so in this case um, I know there's this one dude that has a super simple uh, twitch name so we're just gonna use him as an example so stream link and then twitch.tv slash Chad and then for the quality um, you know you can do like 480p 720p 720p 60 or whatever but since I don't really know what the best quality is and I want the best quality I can actually just type best here and I think that'll give you like the source quality or whatever so if we just hit enter here uh, that should open up the stream in VLC there we go and uh, boom this dude is online he's actually streaming right now and I'm viewing it in VLC which is actually pretty cool just resize that window here and so kind of the thought process behind viewing this in VLC versus Chrome is that it's a little bit more lightweight than using uh, like a flash or HTML5 player so it's supposed to run a little bit smoother so if we just check the uh, statistics here and we can see the video there the decoded and the displayed it looks like it's dropping uh, not really too many frames, very little, which is uh, which is nice. Now, I will admit that when I do have GPU acceleration enabled in Chrome, I don't really see much of a difference here. But uh, it's just an alternate way to uh, view the stream. I think one thing that would be cool is that maybe if you were playing uh, a game on your main monitor and you wanted to view a stream on your secondary monitor, you could watch it in VLC without having like 10,000 tabs of uh, Chrome open which may save a little bit of resources so that's kind of a cool option there but uh, yeah this is just like a cool alternative way of viewing a uh, Twitch stream. Now I know some of you guys are probably going to want to see the chat as well or even chat yourself while viewing the stream and there actually is an option for displaying that as well. Um, there's something by the name of Chatty which will allow you to uh, view a Twitch chat. Since Twitch chats are IRC based, there's actually multiple ways of viewing the uh, chat other than just by going directly to the website. So you can actually download this program Chatty, which is uh, Java based, and uh, it will allow you to view you know, whoever's chat. So again, there is an option for Windows here. There's a standalone option which you can download. Again, I'll put a link down in the uh, comments below, but uh, it includes JRE, so you don't have to install. Uh, Java separately, but once you actually install that You can go in your directory here where it is installed and open it up And basically what you want to do from there is just authenticate the uh, application with Twitch So if you've ever used like Streamlabs or anything like that it, where it'll you know bring you to that screen where it asks you if you want to authorize this application to view 
this and this twitch information you just okay it and then uh, you're good to go there from there all you have to do is type in the name of the twitch chat that you want to view so in this case we're watching twitch.tv slash chad so we're just going to type in the channel name chad and hit connect all right and now we're connected to the chat so now you have the stream playing on one end and the uh, chat right here now what i like to do is actually just go ahead and split these screens up 50 50 so we can do the uh, stream here and then the chat on the right if you don't really like that 50 50 split you can actually resize it somewhere like this and we'll hide the uh, list of users since we don't really need them and boom there you go you've got the uh, twitch stream playing on the left side and the twitch chat on the right side without using chrome at all or any other web browser and uh, it may perform a little bit better for you guys. I think you guys should uh, test it out. Let me know what you think down in the uh, comments below. So I just kind of wanted to share this with you guys here. Just something that I randomly came across today while doing some uh, just my own personal research. So kind of curious what you guys think about it. So like this video if you guys like this type of content. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.